Finally! Finally, after what feels like ages of speculation and fan casting, we officially have the cast for Marvel Studios Fantastic Four. In this video, I'm going to give my thoughts on each one of the members and kind of my general thoughts on the direction that this film is going to take because I am super, super excited. And before that, guys, I just want to say thank you. We are so close to 800 subscribers and therefore getting close to 1,000 subs. This is something I never thought I would achieve. It's something I've done on my own from day one, and I'm, I'm just so happy and so glad that you're joining us on this journey. So if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the like button. It helps me more than you could ever know and enjoy the video. Let's talk about the cast of Fantastic Four. So first up, let's go through the main cast. We have Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards, Evan Moss Backrick as Ben Grimm or The Thing, and Joseph Quinn as the Human Torch Johnny Storm. Funny enough, months ago, this was the leaked cast that was going to be officially confirmed later on and the leaks were right. We even had some tidbits of information coming out confirming Pedro Pascal's role as Reed, but we didn't know 100% about the others. Now we have all of it confirmed, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on each one, starting with Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm. Vanessa Kirby has had a great past couple years in the film industry, and I think being Sue Storm, such a popular, and honestly, with the direction that I think they're heading, she may be the main MCU character in terms of the Fantastic Four. In the past, we've had Reed Richards be the smartest man alive, and while I still think they're going to go that route with Reed, I think Vanessa Kirby's Sue Storm is going to be the main character, main protagonist, point of view character in this film. I have complete faith in her and I think she's going to do an incredible job as this character. I can't really remember any other fan castings besides Margot Robbie as Sue Storm, but I think Vanessa Kirby could be one of those characters that rivals Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Evans as Iron Man and Captain America. After digesting this cast for a couple hours, I do think we're in for a very iconic version of the Fantastic Four. Which brings me to my next actor and that's Joseph Quinn as the Human Torch. This is the casting that a lot of people are somewhat skeptical on. However, after seeing this image of the Fantastic Four in the setting that they're going to be in in the movie, I am sold. I really don't understand what all the complaints are. Look at him in this image and tell me he doesn't remind you of Johnny Storm. I can totally see him being best friends with Peter Parker with the more grown up Tom Holland version of the character. And I think Joseph Quinn's gonna kill it here with a comedic yet active and serious tone as well. We're gonna get both sides of this character and I hope this character lasts many years throughout the MCU. And I I think this is a great choice because he's still young enough to play that childish side and I think we're also going to get a serious tone just look at his work in Stranger Things. This is the role that most people know him for so they're going to turn to that and I think he even gives off characteristics of Johnny Storm in that series. If you disagree let me know down in the comments but I'm completely on board with Joseph Quinn as the Human Torch. Up next we got Evan Moss Backrack as the Thing or Ben Grimm. Funny enough I am currently watching The Punisher for the very first time right now and Evan has played a character in the Marvel world before. He plays Micro in the Punisher show and I think that he can play another role in the MCU without people being confused because the looks are completely different even despite the thing being a rock monster. We're still probably going to see Ben Grimm a little bit if not a lot in the first film. We've seen Marvel do this before with actors and actresses playing multiple roles in the MCU but they're all vastly different so it doesn't make that big of a deal. That being said, I think he's a great actor and I think he's going to absolutely kill it as Ben Grimm. How he will be as the thing himself remains to be seen but I think that we're in for a very, very art house style portrayal of the thing, something that's more than just a man who is a monster who doesn't want to be a monster. Lastly, and arguably the biggest character out of the bunch is Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards. As per my last video, I was not completely sold on Pedro Pascal as Reed, but again, after seeing this image, it really did something for me. Maybe we're going to be getting a less serious Reed Richards that develops to be more serious, kind of like what I said with Johnny Storm, but then again, we've seen Pedro Pascal play many different characters among many different franchises and he has the range. So I think this will be a good challenge for him and I think he's going to bring something new to the table that we weren't expecting and therefore create an iconic version of this character. So that's our main Fantastic Four group and after looking at all of them together in one setting, I'm completely sold. Now if we look closer at Ben Grimm, the thing in this image, we can see that he's holding a Life magazine from 1963. Adding to the rumors that this is going to be a period piece film where Marvel's first family in the comics is going to not be from our current day 
day MCU, but the past and maybe even from a different universe. I would personally like if they were from our Earth, but they just, you know, in the past disappeared and never came back. Kind of a Planet of the Apes thing that Heavy Spoilers pointed out. That would be really, really cool. It reminds me somewhat of the Captain America story where he's a man out of time. This is a whole family out of time. We also have Matt Shackman from WandaVision directing this movie. And if you've seen WandaVision, you know this man's got the sauce and he's going to bring it to this film for sure. Herbie also makes an appearance in this picture. And this is cool because we can speculate kind of on who's going to portray Herbie. Herbie is a robot character that is with the Fantastic Four. And I've seen people suggest Jack Quaid playing this character and that would be hilarious. But yeah, that's the cast for the Fantastic Four. Very interesting that they dropped this on Valentine's Day. Such a massive announcement with, you know, Madam Web releasing today. And we're going to make a video on Madam Web. Trust me for better or for worse. But if you guys want to stay up to date on everything Marvel, Star Wars, you name it, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts with this casting and I will see you all very, very soon.